Hello, I welcome you all. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the 20 kg block and the incli inclined plane is uh, 0.2. <coughs> if the block is traveling up the inclined plane with a constant velocity, 5 meters per second, determine the power of force F. This problem is coming from uh, the engineering mechanics and dynamics, 14th edition by RC Bella. So let's draw the free body diagram. We have the weight like so. And uh, we have components of this weight. Let me just change the colors. So we put this as our weight. And let's say we have components. One is like so of this weight. And another one like so. And uh, we have the normal force. And there is also some friction, the force is pulling up, therefore we expect friction to be in this direction. Okay, so this is the normal force. This is FK, kinetic friction. This is W, uh, the weight. And then we have this angle here. This angle here. This angle here is 30, it means this is 60, therefore this is 30, right? Mm -hmm. So this one here is 30, and if that is the case, therefore this just becomes W cos 30, and then this one is W sin 30. Okay, this is just equal to mu k, the kinetic coefficient, so mu k, uh, let me write it properly, so this is fk, which is just equal to mu k n, and this is equal to point two n, like so. Okay. Right, so uh, let's find what N is. So say summation of forces in the Y equal to MAY, but we know that AY is just equal to zero. We have motion in this direction like so. And this is our AX. And therefore, we do have n minus w cos theta equal to zero and our n is just equal to w cos theta and this is just equal to 20 kg by 9.81 cos 30 and therefore fk which is the friction it's mu k n and this is just point two uh, by uh, twenty by nine point eight one cos thirty. Right, so we know that power is just equal to the work done divided by the time, and the work done itself is equal to the force vector times the displacement vector times cosine theta theta being the angle between the force and the displacement vector and then divided by the time but we know that this is equal to speed therefore this just becomes cos theta by the speed okay so here we've been told that velocity is constant okay and therefore acceleration acceleration ax is equal to zero so we have summation of forces in the x equal to max but we know that this is equal to zero because velocity is constant so what do we have we have f minus fk 
minus w sine theta equal to zero. Therefore, my f is just going to be equal to fk plus w sine theta, and this is just equal to 0 0.2 by 20 by 9.81 cos 30 plus um, uh, 20 by 9.81 sine 30. Therefore, my force will just be equal to force is just going to be equal to um, this is equal to uh, 0.2 by 20 by 9.81 cos 30 plus 20 by 9.81 sin 30. Because I find the 132.08. Point two by twenty by nine point eight one cos thirty plus twenty by nine point eight one sine thirty one thirty two point zero eight. All right, so we do have the force. <coughs> we have the force. So what we need to do now is to find the power. So power. Okay, it will just be equal to F cos theta times V. Okay, and our F here we just found is 132.08. Uh, theta is just equal to 0 degrees. And our V is constant and is equal to 5. Therefore, power will just be equal to 132.08 cos 0 degrees times 5 okay and power therefore power therefore gives us the following power is just equal to power will be equal to 132.08 uh, cos 0 is 1 then by 5 this just gives us a 660.4 and this is in watts. So power is of course the rate at which energy is released to this particular object. Okay, I think this is about it. We've determined, uh, we have determined the power of the force F. So I hope this particular video was helpful and if it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing and sharing my channel. Bye bye and I'll see you in my next uh, screencast.